15 or 20 minutes together, gonna squeeze it. And then spinous process is gonna rest right there. And then it's like middle finger is going straight up the spine. So um, roll up your towel, get it set, because that's the same position. So I was telling these guys, like, I'm, I was so close to getting a puppy, um, mm -hmm. and if I look so sad on Monday, you guys know that I didn't get a puppy. So we'll see. Great. All right, so same thing. Um, I bring it across. I've got a good V, and then there are my, my like, pumps, if you will, for my thrusting. So um, we're going to bend the knee uh, just like we did in the previous one. And so um, I'm going to have you roll, and then I'm going right after mid, um, mid T spine. So roughly like bra line um, uh, around there, and then I'm going to take my hand, put it flat, and then scrunch it. That's going to be the only different one. That's going to feel a little bit better for the hands. So right here, come across. I've got my uh, forearm parallel to the spine, so it's tucked. It's not way out here. It's tucked. And then I'm going to bring this down. I'm gonna trap it with my side punch Christine in the face. Um, so I've got her here and it's supported. So Christine, just let me take over. Mm -hmm. So I'm supporting like CT junction here. And then this is where I do my rock. And then my, my lever is my hand. And as, as soon as I come across and I can feel it extend, then I drop straight down into it. So that's the only subtle difference in your face, okay? Great. So um, my hand, I scrunch it once I get it set up. Middle finger's running right up the spine. The instructor made jokes about that. Um, it's gonna be a little bit nicer with your hand. Um, if your thenar eminence is a little bulkier like mine is, then you can do this little supination and that'll get it a little bit more evenly distributed on your hypothenar eminence. When I first learned it, I accidentally popped Robin's rib out, so to speak, uh, because I was like this, as opposed to supinated. So, for what it's worth, so same thing. Um, here's it, gonna be live. We've got the setup. Here's my preemptive thrust. Christine, that's what it's going to be like. All right, nice. Um, uh, does that feel okay on your shoulders? Yeah. Just want to make sure, like, push your cuff doesn't hurt at all. Mm -hmm. Got it set up. I'm coming right here, roughly level with the bra line. I mean, that's down here and just slightly above. Middle finger going up right up the spine. I scrunch with my thenar, thenar and it's close. My forearm is parallel. I bring this down to trap it with my xiphoid. Support cradle the head. I do my rock. <laughs> And then <laughs> take the air out of her as she goes. Um, and then I do my thrust. So it's still cavitated. Um, mm -hmm. You can add in the breathe in and breathe out if you want to. Um, I will say usually if like you're a little smoother, quicker, you're not talking it out, they're a little more relaxed. So they don't have that big, <laughs> there's a beak. But um, you that's, caught me on the breath in. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a um, but that's the move. 